Hi and welcome. I just call on the Holy Spirit to guide me in my words. All glory be to the Father. Found a beautiful flower. Look how perfect that is. God can make that. We are in good hands. We are made by him. Beautifully and masterly made. We're calling in the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, who was sent from the Father in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now help me, God. We just do the cross. And talk here about um, where we're headed into, like a tribulation here on earth. And it's going to be faster than we think. So we're just preparing here at Holy, Holy, Holy. Because we know that... We are going to an election, got somebody else coming in, fighting for it, but we are keeping the same president. So he has already won. So this Nazi regime, right, is coming through big time in Black Lives Matter and different things in the education system is a return over of a one world order. And they've seen it before, they've done it before from the Nazi You're being asked and then you'll be forced. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Got your Bibles, you could put a little cross in that one. Luke twenty one thirty six. We want to pray always. Dear Father God, in Jesus' name, I pray with gratitude that I be worthy to escape all these things. So here's a famous rapture verse, Peter 3.10. The day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and shall we ever be with the Lord and see down the bottom it says they shall not escape for when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them and they shall not escape but ye brethren are not in darkness that the day shall overtake you as a thief right comes as a thief in the life to those who are not with the Holy Spirit the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power, and when he shall come to be glorified in his saints. That's us, 2 Thessalonians 1, verse 7 to 10. He's coming in flaming fire with his mighty angels. We're looking at Luke chapter 21 here. Watch thee ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So to stand before the Son of Man, you cannot have any sin and we cannot take part in the new world order. We cannot take the mark of the beast, but we take the Holy Spirit. Good deal. Release sin. Sin cannot come to new earth. So it's a, a choice we've made to create new earth with creator. Or if you're not, you're going to be part of the new world order. First you'll be asked and then you will be forced. Think, tribulation, vaccination. When these things begin to come to pass, then look up. And lift up your heads for the redemption draws nigh. He's coming in the clouds with power and great glory. And there shall be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars and upon the earth. Distress of nations with perplexity and the sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. And then they shall see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. All these things shall come to pass. Look up when we see them and we're seeing them. Rivers have turned to red blood. Crazy 
colors and auroras in the sky, beings that we've never seen before as the Antarctic shelf melts and we receive full Atlantean codes. So America will be the new Atlantis immediately after the Great Tribulation. So this guy is from 2028 <coughs> and he's saying about Jesus coming at 2028, the rapture, because it's after the Great Tribulation and when these things begin to come to pass. Now everyone's interpreting the Bible different, but you've got to be Holy Spirit filled. So immediately after the Tribulation of those days, see, 29, and then shall be the Son of the Man in heaven, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together, that's Matthew 24, 29 to 31, his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. How amazing. Your redemption draweth nigh. Peter 3.10 But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and the voice of the archangel and the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Amos 9.13 You will have such a harvest that you won't be able to bring in all of your wheat before ploughing time. You will have grapes left over from season to season your fruitful vineyards will cover the mountains so just know there is more than enough when you align with your father taking the holy spirit if you're not holy spirit filled you're in a religion and that's not what we're about here at holy 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 religion can keep you from god designed that way so we receive the Holy Spirit from Jesus if you know anyone who hasn't they can't get out without it 2 Kings 4 1 to 7 now they cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets into unto Elisha saying thy servant my husband is dead and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord and the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen Remember, God told her to fill the vessels, go and get all the vessels and bring the one with a little bit of oil and borrow from all your neighbours. And he filled the vessels. She sold the oil and paid the bondman, saving her two sons. 2 Kings 4, 1 to 7. And Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me what thou hast thou in the house. And she said, Thine handmaid hath not anything in the house save a pot of oil. Then he said, Go borrow thee vessels abroad of all thy neighbours, even empty vessels borrow, but not a few. So she went door knocking to all her neighbours. And when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons, and shall pour out unto all these vessels, and thou shalt set aside that which is full. So she went from him and shut the door open her burnt her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured it out. It came to pass that the vessels were full and she paid the bondman. Jeremiah 29 11 say, I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for calamity, to give you a future and a hope. Hallelujah. So we're resting here in the hope. The rapture is hope. Without it, we don't have a way out. Leaning closer to Jesus, building your relationship, spending time and attention every day so that we are in the light, children of the light, and we will be taken to the light. May God bless you in magical, wonderful ways and know the magic of the Word of God from his book, when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, is sacred geometry itself. You are part of the creation and you're making the biggest difference by your prayers and your love. 
God bless you. I love you. Bye for now.